large portion of time over the past year since becoming a mom researching baby toys. There is so much that is marketed out there, especially when it comes to baby toys and gadgets and gizmos, and they're presented in such a way that makes you think that you need these things in order for your baby to develop properly or to have his social skills or learn how to read. And there has been a little bit of trial and error throughout this year of finding toys that worked, and we did spend our money on some toys that we're just a little bit of a flop, but that's not what this video is about. Today, I want to share with you the toys that did work well for us and that were so helpful in our baby's first year of life. When looking for toys to purchase and source, I do typically look for toys that will help developmentally somehow based on where my baby is at in their development. Of course, babies are going to be doing different things at different ages, but I found that about every three months or so, I was sort of evaluating and seeing what he was working on, what he was kind of practicing or learning, and then what toys would help with those sorts of activities things like fine motor skills, gross motor skills, cause and effect, object permanence. To make things simple, I've divided things into four categories. I've got my list here, and they're categories based on age. So the newborn age, I consider that to be zero to three months, and then three to six months, six to nine months, and then nine months to one year. If you're new around here, then an extra warm welcome to you. I'm glad you've joined me today. My name is Laura and I share motherhood, homemaking, lifestyle videos here on my channel. Some of my videos are more motivational. I'll take you along with me as I am cleaning or decluttering, and some are more inspirational or restful where I am sharing kind of a typical day in the life. And those videos tend to be a bit more peaceful and laid back, and I do things more along the lines of baby baking and painting and gardening and crafting. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then I would love for you to subscribe. I have also shared some videos similar to this one, like my newborn favorites video, my three to six month favorites video. So I will link those ones down in the description box if you are interested. But for today's video, let's go ahead and kick it off, starting with my favorite toys for the newborn stage. So I think it goes without saying that newborns do not need many toys. We were able to fit all of our newborn toys in a basket besides books, like board books, which I'll get into more later. But I think that's a great way to approach newborn toys is just to have a small basket, a collection of items. So first up is what we started using right away were black and white high contrast books. And then I also have these cards that are also really helpful because you can set them up for your baby during tummy time. And it is really amazing to watch even your newborn baby just study and stare at these cards even though they're so simple. I mean, that's why they're so usually stimulated by them because they're images that they can actually interpret. So these are really awesome. And then also we had a couple of books. I like this one because it just has pictures and it's super easy to set up during tummy time and have your baby look at. And then this one we also had, which is a story, which is cute to read to your baby and have him or her look at the pictures. This next toy is probably my favorite of all of them because it has been Danny's favorite and still is. So we introduced this crinkle book to him as a newborn and he still loves it. We actually just went away this weekend and he sat in the back seat in his car seat with this book. I'm not even kidding you for 45 minutes straight. And he was so engrossed in it. And it's not like he's never seen it before. So what's great about books like these and these sort of crinkle materials is that it teaches your baby cause and effect because they'll start to understand that they can like hit the pages or squeeze them and it will make noise. And then of course it's fun that this one has words. It tells the story of creation and there are lots of fun interactive things like flaps and the rain which I also think is why Danny still really loves this book, is it's not just crinkly. There are lots of other fun features as well, and some of the things even come off, and it's just a, such a super fun toy to have in your collection. Next are teethers, which I suppose you may not use in this newborn period if your baby doesn't start teething until later. Mine did, and so having some of these were really nice. I especially like this bear kind because even before Danny's grasp wasn't like excellent yet, he was still able to grab onto this. 
and it was easier for him to hold than like this one but I also like this kind because it does have wood that he chews on because sometimes like when those teeth are coming in your baby wants something that is really hard that's gonna like rip up those gums so those were really nice to have I kept one in the diaper bag one in our like toy basket maybe one in my husband's car and then also during this stage you might see your baby starting to grasp and grab onto items and so having a rattle is really nice I want to say that Danny started using this towards the end of the newborn period even was still using it in like three to six months and honestly even still now he'll like shake rattles because I feel like in the earlier stages it's more something that he would use to practice grasping and now he can actually shake them and learn more about that cause and effect and also starts to understand sound a little bit better. One last thing I will mention for this category, which we did not actually have when Danny was a newborn because a brand actually just sent this over to me recently, but something that we would definitely use for a next baby. It is this really soft book. So it folds up just like a book like this. You can even carry with this little handle. But it has all of these different designs. I love that there are some black and white ones and then also some of the first colors that baby will start to see as well as some interactive things like ribbons and a little mirror. And then this side is for when they're a little bit older and has some images as well. And it's super easy for you to set up and have your baby practice tummy time. And it's also something that is soft. It's not going to hurt them if it were to topple over. So again, we didn't have this in the newborn period, but could be another idea if you're looking for some tummy time activities. Okay, the last thing that I'll mention is our love every play gym or having some sort of play gym or mat for your baby. This is the only one that we have and it has served us so well and something that grew with our baby throughout his first year and something that he still uses now and I think will continue to use because it does also come with this like canopy feature, this sort of tent that you can put on top so that it becomes almost like a little cozy nook for your toddler. But I love the different sections. It has a tummy time section with more cards for visual stimulation and then it has a high contrast ball this wooden rattle and then another piece that I think is in our car or somewhere else and each little pocket section focuses on a different skill like colors touch hiding and finding things and making sound and if you've been around for any length of time you've heard me talk about that play gym before and that's because I truly do think that it's a worthy investment again it's the only one that we have and we used it every day especially like in the zero to six month period and again, even now it stays here in his room and it's like one of the main toys in his room. So around this time, I also attached our sensory strand to the gym. This was a fun addition because it has all these different sensory strands and crinkle textures and even things that make sound. So this was a fun feature to add to the play gym around the three to six month mark. And I feel like a lot of the newborn toys we were still just using at this point. In addition to this squish ball, this is such a good one for grasping and even like rolling on the ground, showing movement. And there's these beads inside that Danny would often like move back and forth. It does also squish. It's called the squish ball. So you can squish it up so that it's flat like this. I never understood the purpose. I'm sure there is a purpose. I should look it up. But anyways, I guess that's kind of a cool feature as well. We also started using our stacking cups at this point. I feel like they're all scattered around <laughs> right now, so I can't show them to you. But we do have the Mushi brand. I know they're like a popular brand. You probably see them in like every like influencer's nursery or whatever. But they really are great and we've used them ever since that like three month mark. We even use them in bath time or now that it's summer he uses them a lot in the pool. And they're great to show different things like containment, how things can fit inside each other, also stacking and then falling over like cause and effect and even hiding objects like object permanence if you put a cup over something small and then show it again like it's still there. So there's lots of ways that you can use these. A couple other things that are nice for this time is 
are like some tummy time things. So we have this sort of spinner thing that Danny would use during tummy time. It has different activities like these that he can spin, these beads, even this like ladybug thing. So something like this is good for tummy time. I've also seen people use a wobbler. I remember looking for one and we didn't end up getting one. Maybe I just felt like we had enough at that point, but I've heard that that is a great option too. For tummy time, it's something that kind of wobbles back and forth and is something that your baby can start reaching for, which is another developmental skill to practice. Okay, well at this point I feel like this is when things are starting to get a little bit more fun and a little bit more interactive. Your baby might be sitting up. Ours started sitting up during this stage, which I feel like just introduced a whole other type of play once he was able to sit up on his own. So one toy we introduced during this time is this shape sorter, which I did love because it's wooden and I love these pastel colors, <laughs> but it's also been a great tool for him. I would say he has not figured out how to put the items in. I think that's something that doesn't really happen until like 18 months. So definitely something we'll still be playing with, but I will sometimes just drop these items in and he has definitely figured out how to open the drawer and get them out. So this has been a super fun one to have and also looks pretty on your shelf. Something else that has been really fun to introduce are balls. I think I got these around the six month mark for Christmas. They came in a set of I think six. I only have a couple here right now with me. But these are so fun for so many different things and Danny still uses them now. Um, I remember when we first gave them to him he would be like sitting in his high chair or like in our like up seat with the tray and I would put all these balls on his tray and he would like move them around and it was so cute because one would fall off and he would be like oh like he understood that it was like gone, it would roll away. And it was so cute because he would just sit there for a minute and like think about it, like, how did that happen? <laughs> and now that he's older, he's moving around, he will actually roll these on the ground and then like go chase it. And so again, another great thing that is just so simple that can grow with your baby. I will also say that when I was <laughs> trying to find sensory balls like this, I did look for softer colors because that's just what I personally gravitate towards. I couldn't find any so I did end up with like the brightest neon colors which is fine. He loves them but if I can find some prettier colors I will try and link those ones down below which reminds me I will link as much as I can down in the description box as well as even some other ideas or things that I had considered purchasing or that are kind of similar to what I'm mentioning here. Next up is some sort of stacker and this is another one that we're still using. This one's a little bit smaller. I think it would be fun to have a bigger one um, as well or in addition to but this is so cute and he's loved playing with even just these wooden pieces like he'll just bang them together he's figuring out how to do that and of course then making them fit on the stacker similar to this would even be blocks i've purchased some toys for kind of down the road like i got one um puzzle that has like cars and trucks just wooden pieces and danny will actually already play with those wooden pieces they're just things that he can touch and feel and again like bang together or kind of like toss around and see what happens and then similar to the stacking cups i remember someone gave these to us at our baby shower they come in like a pack of five or seven and these have been really fun too for in the pool in bath time they do float and then they also have holes where you can like pour water through which is a really fun activity as well and i like these and the cups for bath and like water stuff because there's no like inside part where mold can collect other things like i don't know these balls or like rubber duckies actually the holes can collect a lot of water and there's like lots of mold inside so something to keep in mind. Also at this time I found that Danny was paying attention more when we would read stories and books to him. This is something that we have done from the beginning since we brought him home but it is just something that we've just continued to do. Both my husband and I love reading to him and I absolutely just love children's books and we have collected a pretty good collection of board books and so I will share some on the screen here and just link a bunch in the description box. I won't go through every single one 
but typically I look for books that have more realistic pictures. Not always. I think it's fun to have stories that are just silly or just for humor, but especially for these early months, I do try to share pictures and images that are realistic as my baby is learning different words and sounds and what things are. So I definitely pay attention a lot to the illustrations as well as of course to the messaging and I want the stories that we are reading to have a meaningful story. Um, and again, some of the books we have are a little bit more simple, but on the whole and moving forward, I'll be looking for more books that have just a wholesome message, teach some sort of principle. I know he's young, but these are books that we'll still be reading when he's four and five and six. And so I want them to have a good story as well. And also be something that I actually enjoy reading. Okay, so recently some of the toys that we have introduced are things like this wooden center. I love toys like this that have multiple things that you can do. So this one has like the spinner thing. It's got the beads. It's got these boats that you can move around. So some things he's doing already, some things he won't do yet, a little shape sorter. I will say this is one that I got on Amazon and the quality could be better, just being honest. Um, it's just, it does feel a little bit cheap. So some of the things kind of just don't fit together. I don't know, like this piece keeps disappearing. It should be like moved over. But I mean, it serves its purpose and I do like that it is wood, but again, just kind of a little bit cheap. There's even like, you can see hot glue under the dolphin there. But I thought I would mention it because something like this is very helpful and I know that these bead things are great for development. And again, the shape sorter, there's even a little mirror here. This one I got when Danny started to be showing an interest in like fine motor. I mean, he's got great fine motor skills. I think it's because of like the baby led weaning and him feeding himself so much. But something like this has been great because there's all of these like little gadgets that he can touch and feel and explore. So I didn't even realize, but this is like a car. So you've got your steering wheel, your key ignition, um, your like air conditioning controls, a little glove box. So this is super cute. And what's also great is you could even like attach the back of it to a wall so that your baby is like on their tummy using these different activities. This is another toy that we actually did give a little bit early on, um, but I put it in this category because it's just become more popular with Danny now. It is this little rainmaker, and he loves to just watch this thing go. I remember though when we did first give this to him, maybe around six months, um, if he was crying, I would just set this up and he would immediately stop because he was just so enthralled with this thing. So another great thing to teach cause and effect and also sound. Speaking of sound, we don't have this yet, but I did get him a music set that I'm pretty excited about. I think it will be really fun. And again, something that will hopefully grow with him, like a music set. I mean, I feel like you can play with that when you're like two, three, four, once you are even learning how to make sounds that sound nice and like follow a rhythm so this is something that we'll give him for his first birthday um and I think will be something super super fun so I'll like share a picture here and link it down below when I was looking for a music set I wanted to find one with a tambourine and I wanted to find one with like the egg shaker or like a rattle sort of maraca shaker and this one has both of those along with other things as well. And something else that we introduced around the one year mark is a teddy. <laughs> this is sort of a toy, sort of not really, because it's something that he is sleeping with and is kind of becoming his little buddy, which is so fun. We actually gave him this when we took away the soother, which made like the transition seamless. So that's another little hack is when you take away the soother to give like a blankie or a teddy or something like that. And this is the one that he's been using. It now travels with us when we go overnight to places <laughs> and he only has it in his bed. He doesn't actually like play with it, but you know what he does actually, because when he wakes up from his nap or even before when he's falling asleep, he will hold him and he will like talk to him and like pick him up and sort of, 
I don't know, make him dance. It's really cute. So <laughs> that's another fun one. You don't need a bunch of stuffed animals, even though we do have a bunch of stuffed animals because these, I kid you not, were all gifts, which is so gracious. And I feel like each one of them reminds me of somebody special. And so I can't part with them and they're so cute. And I just love them and I'm sure he will use them when he's older. Oh, I just love stuffed animals too. Also in the bottom are like mine and my husband's stuffed animals from when we were kids. Maybe that's weird, but I don't know. We didn't want to part with them, so. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope that this was helpful for you, gave you some good ideas if you're creating a baby registry or just looking for toy ideas for that first year or so. If you're a mom and have kids and have toy recommendations, I would love to hear them in the comments, even if they're for like one, two, three years. As a first time mom myself, I'm always looking for great recommendations. And most of these were also recommended to me by friends or even just gifted by friends and people and loved ones who knew that they would be a great hit with my baby. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like. And again, if you are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can see more content like this. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.